Dan Horgan of theawesomecave.com, and I am here with indie film star Sarah Nicklin. Um, how are you doing tonight, Sarah? <laughs> I'm doing well, how are you? Good. Um, here at The Awesome Cave, we do interviews a little bit differently. Um, instead of starting off by asking questions, we make general statements and we get your reaction to those statements. Okay. All right. Socks and sandals are actually a very progressive way of dressing. No, I totally disagree. I don't like sandals anyway to begin with, so adding socks to them is just a bad idea. <laughs> Right. Statement number two, Nickelback is the greatest band of the 21st century. Oh uh, no, I can't. Yes. Statement number three, Katy Perry has a cat named Catty Purry. Oh, she might, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That'd be pretty right. ironic if she did. All right. And uh, final statement, Selena Gomez had a Perry ring until she started dating Justin Bieber. Unfortunately, I don't know who that is. So I don't Selena get that Gomez? One. I don't know. Sorry. I'm really bad with Terrible all Terrible taste in music. No Selena Gomez, no Nickelback. I'm just what can I say? You'll have to educate me. Alright. Word up. The movie that you um, are pretty much known for in, it's just in the indie horror community is none of that. Yes. Um, talk about that experience. Um, <laughs> anyone who watches the trailer of that, um, it looks insane. It looks like a lot of fun. Um, it is. It's pretty insane and a lot of fun off the wall comedy action mm. you know it's um it's got a lot of really clever humor if you know religion i don't know religion very well but yeah. a lot of people <laughs> find it very funny but it's an equal opportunity offender so <laughs> you don't have to feel targeted and it goes after everybody um and that whole process was just really really awesome mm -hmm. it's a group of filmmakers that i've done a couple pictures with and it was just it was a lot of fun and i'm so glad that it's done so well i mean people really seem to love it you moved out here um, like seven or eight months ago to yes. Los Angeles. Um, what's your ultimate goal as an actress in your career? Um, <laughs> um, I would say to constantly always be working in good quality pictures or TV shows. Not like a, I would want like a reoccurring or like a bunch of like little guest star spots. I don't think I'm really that interested in like having my own show. I think that'd mm -hmm. be a little much. Um, because then you have to deal with the whole being super famous and <laughs> all that sort of stuff, which is really not that interesting to me. Um, but I really, I love indie films, so if I could just keep doing like good roles in good indie films, that, that'll that be it, I'll be happy. <laughs> do you play video games at all? I, I do a little bit. My husband is a big, big gamer. Really? <laughs> so he's roped me into um, uh, Portal and Quake 3. Those are like, I like those. Those yeah. are my favorite ones. We don't like video games. They're for nerds. <laughs> They're for nerds, yes. Yeah. <laughs> they almost made a video game of none of that, actually. Really? Yeah. They, they well, were talking about it. <laughs> but what would your character be like? What would your weapons be? Um, well, she obviously, she needs a big shotgun and a lot of pistols, um, fists beating people up by herself. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's a pretty kick-ass martial artist. And uh, yeah, whatever's probably like GTA style where you have like the baseball yeah. bat or the brass knuckles or just pull out whatever you got. Flamethrower would be pretty awesome if they had a flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> so you have some projects upcoming. Um, you're in a Nike commercial. You're yes. starring, you starred in a film called Exum, which is going to be released soon. Talk a little yes. bit about what's next for Sarah Nicklin. Um, well, hopefully Exhumed is going to get picked up and do really, really well. Hopefully better than none of that, I would expect, because it's a really, really fantastic film. It's just, it's a, it's a whole nother level, and it's just, it's very different for that director, because he's used to doing kind of the more comedies, and this is much more of a psychological thriller, but it's black and white, and it's shot in the red, and just absolutely, it's gorgeous. So hopefully that will do very well after it just finishes its screenings. Um, and then after that, this summer, I am going to be shooting a period western in Texas, <laughs> which will be a lot of fun in the middle of the summer, so it's going to be very hot. <laughs> but um, other than that, yeah, the idea of doing a period western is just really exciting to me. Anything in closing at all for the Awesome Cave TV viewers? Thanks for having me, and uh, keep watching.